Hello and welcome to another episode. This is a quick update on some news I've found on Ionic Guy's latest video about the Integrated Charging Control Unit or the ICCU recall in the US. Anyway, it's worth a watch and I'll put a link up here. Most of the detail at the start of the video is to do with the NHTSA documents which I've already covered a few weeks back in this video here. But there is also some new information Ionic Guy has discovered. His source within Hyundai is quoted as saying most of the overcurrent failures in the ICCU was when the car's traction battery was at a low state of charge and also mostly when the car is doing regen in tandem with a sudden loss of traction. So I guess the wheels are slipping or skidding or something. He then goes on to explore some of his own theories about the use of regen paddles. So as I say, well worth a watch. So with that new information, does it mean we should avoid getting down to low stakes of charge on the traction battery? Yes, I think it does, but it was also good, always a good idea to avoid that anyway. And does this also mean we avoid using the regen paddles to do our regen modes manually? Maybe, but I don't know. I very rarely use my regen paddles. I, I use them to set up uh, my iPedal when I start driving, and then I even Either you use Smart Cruise Control or HDA for the rest of the driving, so the car does its own thing. So when you drop out of HDA, it reverts back to iPedal. So the, so the car's handling it all. So does the human intervention of the driver cause the ICCU overcurrent situation? Maybe. Anyway, it's something to think about. Um, one thing I'd ask my viewers or drivers anyone who's watching this video is if you've had an ICCU failure do you use manual regen I think it's a good question to ask anyway with that that's all for now thanks for watching